which is just going to be used as a complement to this issue here. And uh, you can dare me all you want. Uh, I don't think anybody has the guts to dare me anyways. I'm going to add a few extras here. As the number one, I'm going to add to you. Angela Merkel was one of the first, uh, but there was another lady that was also involved in MKUltra. As a matter of fact, two other ladies were involved in MKUltra. Two other uh, ladies were involved in MKUltra. These were all Eastern and German ladies. These are, what is this here? President of the People's Chamber, President of the Folks Karma, Sabine Bergman Paul. This one here was involved in MK Ultra. Um, I'm going to put it this way. Um, it might actually, it might, um, it might rock you what I'm going to tell you in this video about Eastern Germany. Eastern Germany, I cannot say that they used, they used females to pimp themselves out of the Soviet Union. Uh, probably any country in the world would do this. I mean, to put it uh, straight, there were three females, of which one was, for me, completely irresistible. It could well be the lady that you see right there uh, that was involved much more than Angela Merkel, and frankly, I wanted her to be involved more than anybody, because she was just really, I know that this is insane uh, for somebody to be six months old, one year old, and uh, have a, a pretty damn good idea about what uh, females, good-looking females, look like. Uh, but this is exactly maybe even what Angela Merkel have fallen for. I think that Angela Merkel have fallen for me. Uh, I'm pretty sure she did. You want to say your life is complicated or whatever. My life at age one year of age is really, really complicated. It was chaotic. I'm talking about the Germany right now, Eastern Germany right now. I would move around with this ladies and this ladies, uh, they did not pay me too much attention, really. I was there with uh, other adults, males, and uh, I had to be next to them. And it, it looked like to me they were using me for something that I did not. I was asking myself what my purpose was, what the hell this was all about. Then I started to watch this money and how they meet people and stuff like this. And uh, there was always Slovenian translator. 
Christmas a police that we use translators, not even the necessary police officers, you know, but translators for the children, literally people that would have exceptional skills, uh, the ability to adjust the voice exactly with a calm way uh, so that baby could properly, simply that the message would be totally relate to, to the baby, would understand, I understood everything, what, you know, it, it just becomes a translator like this, becomes like a, when you go to the school and you use a calculator or something, or you're on the computer and use, let's say, just Google Translate or whatever, you just don't bother yourself with it anymore. You don't pay attention to it. Now, if I was, something would have been wrong with me, I would not even state this. Um, Angela Merkel was not my preferred female involved in MKUltra. Angela Merkel was, from the beginning, one of the preferred maybe females. Um, Angela Merkel was second probably to this lady, third maybe even. It was another female. They had such a hot females. And these females, what they would do is they would wrap males around their fingers. If you happen to go to German, to Eastern Germany, and you were a police officer, I don't care from where. I've seen people falling for this ladies time and again. And the thing about it is, they were actually trained to wrap you around the little finger and get out of you more than what you possibly could imagine is possible. They would turn police, foreign police officers into a little pets, basically, and do with them whatever they wanted to do. This is just the way it is. Now, you remember when I told you about my skills of wrestling and uh, fights they organized since early childhood, took me all the way to Belgrade and from Belgrade to Moscow and from Moscow or Belgrade, around the world, around the globe, all the way to the United States of America, Britain, all over the place, Scandinavia too. There was another exceptional skill that I possessed. Another possession, another, another exceptional skill that I possessed and I will credit this time, I will give credit. It's probably the only credit Germany for me ever is going to get. Uh, and quite frankly, I even doubt this one. Uh, it was like this, that one of the translators involved in this translations for the children I believe was Drago Pokorni. Drago Pokorni. Other than that, they had other two police officers, whatever they had. I think this man speaks also German, and this was the man that would also accompany to the Eastern Germany. This is the man here that you see. Oh, let's see, go, let's go here. Well, is it whatever, uh, you know. Well, and uh, he also would go, yeah, Drago Pokorni, he's, uh, Cousin, 
I know actually brother is Misho Pokorny. Uh, the two work in a Kirka pharmaceutical and Drago Pokorny just happens to be one of the people who sometimes would also go to Germany and would help me out with the German language. However, there was another skill I had. Uh, if there was such thing like superior human being ever in this world, then I would tell you that my skills in German language, luckily for Germany, that's the only credit you will ever get from me. I am not going to ever give you any other credit because I don't trust you with absolutely anything. You are not worthy to trust. You just, um, you're just the country that uh, did exactly what I described. And this is going to be the last thing I'm going to, for like, uh, for a little shit, I'm going to give you one single credit in my life. You're not going to hear from me another credit. This is going to be your last one. That was... Uh, This guy, Drago Pokorny, who also was my instructor in later years of English language, he helped me out to catch up what kids learn in the school. And it was a lingu English language with a condition to jump over to the, some, to continue this program for mechanical engineering technician from what I completed was a mechanic school. And we'll never forget this because they watched. If the German ladies wanted me to, look, to learn German and there was another skill, like I said, the ability to learn the language about reading without uh, anything just by listening to the translator and it was Angela Merkel who took time to give me this is also the credit for Angela Merkel uh, and more than Angela Merkel to one lady that was there it was just really hot sexy lady I mean it was this one and it was another one. And they they started to take time and uh, repeat the words, explain me the words. And at age four, just when I was, they told me, you know what the ladies told me? That the ladies told me that they expect from me to speak German, uh, just like Germans, basically. At one point in time, it's just going to take off. And it was timed. Like to the last second. Like absolutely everything in respect to the Germany. Like to the last second. When at age four, uh, my German took off. And I actually started to challenge and bully German kids, German-speaking children, babies, whatever you want, with my language skills, with my German skills. I don't know whether, they, whether the Germans resented me. All I know that at age four, my German language was at peak, and it was better than the language of the German-born kids. Once I started with it, that's why I'm going to give you a credit, just for a little mouse shit. And even I'm not sure about this one, whether I should give you this or not. It was Drago Pokorny 
who realized that I no longer want to interact with him. Uh, the two other police officers, I basically give them a fuck off. Just didn't want to go back to Slovenia anymore. It was completely wild, this shit. And uh, when they realized they, they completely lost me, uh, they demanded from German ladies to immediately stop teaching me, uh, as a matter of fact, allowing me to communicate in German language. Okay, as soon as that happened, okay, when I started to take off and demonstrate the superiority, it was another thing that happened. To the German kids, it was another thing that happened. This wasn't about wrestling. This was about pure IQ, brain, language skills. I sensed an envy, a German envy in the minds, in the brain of the ladies. I sensed it. Immediately I knew that something stink in their heads. It was envy. I knew what envy was. They did not, they couldn't stand that it would be a foreign child that would learn like this, German better than the German kids that were born there. They had such a high expectations, but if it was ready to do the stuff, to finish the stuff, it's like you would go, 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 and you will be taking your diploma. And in the last year, somebody would just go and just rip apart before you would be handed one, basically with ability to exercise one for the rest of your life. This type of principle applied to me in absolutely everything in my life. You finish the grammar school, again, they fuck you. Actually, from kindergarten, you go to grammar school, they fuck you. You finish the grammar school, you go... To high school, they fuck you. Uh, absolutely every issue for every education, for everything I did, and completion of the military, and completion of this, and completion of that, whatever the fuck I did, it was always a cut. Boom. That's how much for little mouse shit I am going to give you to walk away from it. I'm gonna say that it was on behalf of, let's say, Slovenian, I should say, Moscow and Belgrade, that you did not uh, take time and uh, I don't even know what the fuck would I possibly expect from you anyways. I was bagging these guys here because of the violence that went on in Slovenia, in Moscow, back at home in Slovenia, in Moscow, in Novo Mesto, in Belgrade, in Moscow. Uh, I, was, I was literally begging, begging, you know, to, to allow me to stay in, in Germany. I didn't want to go back anymore. To, I don't want to go back anymore to, I didn't want to go back anywhere anymore, you know? I didn't want to go back anywhere anymore. I didn't even know what the fuck is Eastern, what is Western Germany. And yeah, then also the Western German females popped up, which they had a makeup and all that shit. Uh, they look very different from Eastern German females, which they dressed the same way, like in uh, Czech Republic, Poland, or Yugoslavia, and so on. I didn't like that. Uh, the Western ladies always had a better makeup and better clothing and that kind of stuff. And so, for one thing, I didn't even know that once in my life, my German was so good in this literally under MK Ultra when I it, it reached the peak at age four uh, between three and five three and a half and four it reached the peak and then it went to the hell it's like it would have a plane and it would just 
dive into the ground and just because of the disappointment. This was just probably the first disappointment uh, education wise. It was definitely the first disappointment education wise, IQ wise, that I suffered. It was the first sit back that made me confused because I didn't know whether these people discriminate against me, were they simply uh, envious of me, discriminating me because I'm not theirs. And Germans really, really knew how to hide these issues. Like, for instance, uh, uh, this guy here, I asked him to be my father because he offered himself to be a father. His name is Joachim Gauck. Yeah, this guy here, he was my big, big, big advocate. He was involved since my early childhood. This guy here. Um, yeah. uh, I really wanted him to be my father, literally. He was so nice. Uh, but then again, I'm going to tell you, I don't know. I really do not know whether these people... I, I don't know. To tell something like this to a child in a, such a situation is not good. Another one was Gerhard Schroeder. This is this guy here. This one here insisted that he would take me, that he would adopt me. But it never happened. And every time when it, this stuff happened, it always came to my mind what happened at my age four with the German language. I was more than just bitter about not being adopted, having the ability to escape this hellhole. But what was eating me already at age four, that's how sensitive I was to these issues, was that something was wrong with these people. That something that they did not consider me as simply that I did not satisfy their criterion or something like this. I wasn't happy about this stuff. Uh, the more the time went, but I sticked in the game. I sticked in the game. So I am just giving you the taste basically how it was. These people can do nothing other than admit to what I stated. Everything I state here are plainly a facts. None other than facts. How many people were taken from Eastern Germany to the Western Germany? Uh, I don't know a lot. I did not discuss that issue. I mentioned that the number of a Nazi uh, Nazis, as they call them, you know, they're Nazis. And these people were soldiers. These people were, how can I tell you, the same like your grandpa or your grandma, whatever they would be called in the military service, and they would just have to do whatever they had to do. Uh, Many of them, unfortunately, have committed atrocities. Uh, these people were really a terror throughout the Europe. They burned the Europe to the ground. Uh, but if you did not go and report yourself for the military service when they called you, uh, I have no idea what happened. Probably. Probably they killed you before you would, uh, I don't know. They were doing all kinds of stuff to people, including killing people and sending them to the concentration camps so they would not go in the military. Every one of those Germans that, or other Eastern Europeans, like the case was with this guy in Canada, I have to see that stuff yet. 
every one of them, it wasn't only Nazi officers. It was, what is it, Paulina, Paulina Reskova. Uh, it was children from, uh, it was children, it was, it was uh, mothers, it was uh, people who had nothing to do with this, with the, with the Second World War that would immigrate. And of course, if the Soviets smelled, it didn't have to be Soviets, it could be Polacks, it could be Czechs, it could be Ukrainians. And they would start to do the stuff like they did to me, that I'm pretty sure, that I'm certain of, because of what I have seen in Stari Bohumin in Czechia, in Czech Republic. I saw the guy with a hole in his throat who was a nice guy who was involved in MKUltra. You can trust me that this government exploited any kind of weakness that foreigners will display for the people, the domestic people, whatever they would go to the Czech Republic or Poland or Slovenia or whatever, did they smell somebody that uh, in Yugoslavia, in Slovenia, they don't even know how lucky they are. They're stupid. They don't, they, they don't even know how lucky they are. This motherfucker don't know that in Yugoslavia, if somebody came from another country and they started to communicate with you, and they liked you, by the way, for whatever reason might be, whether you were interested in business, whether you were interested in work over there, whatever you would be interested in wise, buying maybe something, uh, just for a smile, they would fucking kill you in, from Belgrade, man. These people, they would see you doing the stuff like this. You know, they, these people don't even register. They don't even understand how lucky they are to be in Slovenia. So it doesn't matter. Easy come, easy goes. Uh, what matters here in this day is that you understand that whatever the Soviets smelled somebody, the one who ran Soviet Union was the same like in, in Yugoslavia. Russians ran the Soviet Union in Yugoslavia. It was the Serbs that ran the Soviet Union. Whenever they would smell somebody like this, they would literally go after him and they would rip him systematically. They would rip him apart so that every time, whenever this visit would come, they would see this poor creature like completely fucked up more and more and more and more. Uh, unfortunately, that's true. Uh, till it would be huh, like a skeleton from the fish. It would be nothing over till they would get the news that Janek, Marek, uh, Jozek, whatever. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen so even that British royals had to take the news, I clearly recall from some people even being killed, like sent literally into, uh, into psychiatric hospitals where they were destroyed, uh, and some literally were uh, killed, just killed, it's nothing personal really, eliminated. Um, you, you understand? It's like nothing, not a big deal. It's like you take an apple or whatever you eat. So the British are going to tell you this in their defense. The Germans are going to tell you this. I am confirming this before anybody says this stuff. Uh, it was for anybody. It was enough that you, especially if you didn't even have to be the German soldier, or I should say the German service to become listed as good as that, basically. Because they needed you, because for your life, 
it was a technology they got to release you. This flag I have spoken to you about, I mentioned to you in this video that these people immigrated to this flag to uh, to the I mentioned to you how they they immigrated through this flag. This is the flag I just made of myself. I like this flag, so it's my invention. This flag had an advantage like none other in the world. There is a movie called Nobody's Land or something like this, and it's about the Balkans where people kill one another and stuff like that. Now, um, I was nobody's, um, nobody's citizen. I was nobody's, uh, nobody's man. Uh, but there was one thing guaranteed uh, that those around me, uh, regardless of how shoddy deals they were involved in, they had nothing to fear because they would pass anything that you read about either security wise or a border uh, military wh whatever it would be in this world that you don't fucking believe is possible uh, they would gain through using me they would gain access to whatever they were up to it didn't matter whoever whatever with whomever you think that's impossible it's possible journalists gain access straight to the british royals um with me people got to meet all kinds of people nelson mandela's uh, king yongun family uh the most remote the most areas of the world that you don't get anywhere near idaho and this flag of mine guarantee you that whether you were a neo-nazi or i think but they, come on there is no neo-nazis i mean actually well, they are neo-nazis if there are any neo-nazis left uh, that's probably younger generations of people that have some kind of problems. Um, but they probably are neo-Nazis. I just don't understand who the hell would even believe that uh, there would be something like this possible to return back on the map. I mean, to me, this shit is surreal. The thing about it is I want to stress that every individual that gained access out of eastern germany therefore eastern europe because no they also go through the czech republic we also got few people out from the czech republic now you know it's me a real alien talking to you uh, this flag guarantee you exit because your, like they say, in Serbo Croatian language, say Proposnica, or the card, the exit card, or release, uh, or, okay, whatever you want to use that allows you to exit your prison. I'm talking about Eastern Europe which was a hellhole rather than prison for some people, uh, it was signed by the Soviets. It was signed by the Moscow. It was always authorized by the Moscow. They gave the authorization, maybe not always, maybe somebody also disappeared with us too. Yeah, there was all kinds of stuff. They also put some people in the trunk. But what I want to say to you is, we met Soviets, not even Germans at the border too. Spoke with them, 
and it 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 was like surreal when I remember this German Eastern German guy, a commander from this pass where we would drive through. I have to see that stuff. Give me a break. Uh, and you know they made me nervous about him. You know that he's a he's terrible. You know that the regular soldiers you don't have to worry about, but this man, you know this. The boogeyman is going to be. It's, it's a really nice guy, actually, that did not want problems. They saw me, these people were laughing and all kinds of shit. Anyways, uh, I was a lucky ticket. If you got the ride with me, you were definitely out of Eastern Europe. Nothing stopped you on your way out. Uh, no way. Uh, as a matter of fact, you know, I think one time Angela Merkel had to even, toward the end, she even had to advocate herself. It was the time, it was the time, so if I say 300 people at least, I am not exaggerating. If I say 500 people, Maybe I'm closer, but 300 people for sure. So you're talking about a lot, a lot of people, right? Uh, important again, it doesn't matter whether you committed a crime or not, or whatever the case was in the World War II. Uh, if they sense they will get paid for you, your life was turned into hell, hell, just to make sure that you are out and they, they got their profits. This is just the way. That's all they wanted. What they hated is a black market. What they hated the most is that, you know, the guy in the trunk, that kind of shit. The guy sat in the car and, you know, that stuff. And uh, it was just bye-bye. You know. um, what exactly I was going to say, because this, this shit is actually very important. Um... Yeah, what is here to say? A lot of children, families, especially males, workers, it was all the time about male workers, they had it to the West and they got themselves. Yeah, sure, I was, I forgot about that. In 19... 87, beginning in 1987, uh, Angela Merkel knew all about this stuff because in Moscow I was making hell. And all this chaos that I created in Moscow within these diplomats, the Germans moved really swiftly, quickly together with the Polacks and with Hungarians and, uh, and others that were eager to get out of the Soviet Union. Romanians and Bulgarians and so on. And they smelled, they anticipated by 1997, it was a miracle the Soviet Union was still up. I was, a, boy, I could fucking wait for this shit to go down. I mean, seriously, I was so just all about giving you maximum resistance, basically punish you for the punishment. That's what the hell I was. Like I said, Andrei Gromyko figured out that I would have to be tied up for things to be the same as they were before beginning my age 11. I gave them hell like nobody ever did. Uh, it was what they told me that, that this is completely wild. You know, who created this stuff? Who created this stuff? Um, well, in 1997, Angela Merkel started to advise Germans that it's not even worth it to immigrate the West, to the Western part of the Germany, because at any time now, the Soviet Union will end. And then it was the time just before the the end of the 
this iron curtain where Angela Merkel would even take with me people across the border to the other side without charging them absolutely anything. So Angela Merkel did charge them something. There was something. I actually, I apologize for what I stated. I made a mistake. This, I cannot confirm that she charged. She gave the order out saying, don't charge them for that. Don't charge them for that. Uh, once I learned English and stuff, uh, they started to use English language so that they could understand. And there is one thing Angela was trying to do. I, when I say Angela, this witty German ladies did. There was one thing uh, that that uh, uh, I don't know why they said that. I have no idea what they said. It's tough to. Uh, was it really the true or was it not the true? They signaled me, the Germans signaled me that they wanted me to learn German so fast so that uh, so that there wouldn't be no translators next to us, so that we will be alone and that will be even more effective. But theoretically, really, that's only possible in a theory, and these Germans were not stupid. It, they understood that something like this is really not possible, but these are excellent psychologists next to the politicians. They know how they had to play one to get maximum out of one. Yeah, I could give you the best I possibly could give you. It's the best idea that, that I can give you about basically about about. Uh, what went on? Uh, what? Who was involved in this stuff? Let's go back. Christian Wolf was involved in it with his beautiful wife. Uh, Frank Walter Steinmeier was he was always reserved. He never volunteered to be my father. I don't remember him that he would volunteer to be my father, really. A Christian Wolf was really, really nice to me. And ha, huh, you know. Let me see something else here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then you have this. You know, this Ger East German politicians you have, like Genscher and so on, you know, this old goodies you have to. Uh, these people were scared, man. Because it was a fucking scary, scary time. Guido Westerwalle was heavily involved in it. Supposedly that he died in 2016. Well, nowhere near he was involved. Obviously, this, this man is just 10 years older than myself. Uh, but I made a mistake. I was nasty to him. Uh, and very shortly after, he disappeared. But he was a really, really nice guy. It was injustice I have done to him. It was not the right thing. I did not, for basically not even knowing what the hell I was talking about. Uh, because, because, because of the stuff they did to me. You know what happened? Yeah, yeah. Because Angela Merkel had a problems understanding what went on with me. Well, there is nothing unusual about this. It's nothing difficult to understand. You created so many problems to me. Uh, 
you created so many problems to me that I didn't want to see you anymore, really. I was like, basically to the fuck with all of you. Because you cheated, you lied so many times uh, that you presented finally in my life nothing other than disappointment. Basically, it changed depression, basically. It's next to the shit that I have gone through. Everywhere I went, I couldn't liberate myself from this shit, whatever the hell I, I made the next step. Why the hell would I adhere to you, basically to any of you, if you guys presented to me nothing other than basically disappointment? I mean, have you ever done anything positive for me in my life that would make a difference for me in my life? The answer to the question is no. Everything around you was just going heading for worse and worse and worse and worse. So I had no reason to adhere to any of you. And so I decided that I'm going to take a matter in my own hands. And because simply I couldn't afford myself, it was not affordable to think about our relation since the childhood, early childhood, and all the stuff that I stated. Uh, I said, the hell with it, with all of you, since I don't have anything out of you, and I am going to need to somehow survive this stuff as well as mine i'm going to do my uh shortcut uh, basically a detour uh, rather than to um waste my time on you and i figure out that all these issues, all this experience, all this stuff that happened to me during MKUltra involving people that should not basically have anything to do with you, but did because of the corruption, clearly. Uh, I would just do something that undoubtedly would grant me the access to United Nations. Charter, the human rights, uh, basically the right to file for discrimination uh, and that kind of stuff. Yes. The countries I assumed would be much easier way for me to go through rather than to uh, complicate the whole thing. Uh, waste my time on issues that created all this stuff were the white countries, people with a white population, setting aside based how I saw that as. number of the country, great number of the countries that the only thing I experienced during Kyoto was the problems, lies, all kinds of stuff, would be therefore like a completely irrational step for me to make. Uh, I did not realize what kind of setup you guys have made for me during the early childhood with this with even smuggling Nazis from Nazis again these are people people like everybody else I mean I think to let the people like this out uh, basically throw them at expense of another country um, granting yourself a budget for not even paying social security to somebody you otherwise would have to pay 
healthcare and all that stuff. Uh, and on top of that, gain big technological investments from the West. Some man that is, I don't know, uh, all the guy already that you're not going to have nothing out of it. Uh, it doesn't really make no difference. Uh, the real difference that you would make is where the situation is taking individual talking about like from the Soviet point of view right now country in which direction is it like a prosperity or is it like total fall that's basically the difference that it makes the main thing that as a politician as an econo economist that's how they view basically the situation is and so that Obviously, something like this would never ever repeat again, which this people that they released, they don't have any kind of significant, significant significance to uh, do what uh, could derive from allowing them to immigrate to another country. How successfully you got to ask yourself, can you possibly be a really at anything if you end up leaving your family behind and everything and so on and going to some place with a predisposition that the only thing you're going to do for the rest of your life is basically see the flowers and whatever. Keep your mouth shut basically about anything you have gone through, seen and so on and so forth. Or you want to reunite with the family, whatever and so on. Uh, very, very, very honestly, I would have done the same thing if I was a Soviet, um, except that it's the kind of a stuff that damaged the whole world tremendously a lot. It's the kind of stuff that have destroyed entirely the legacy of the United Nations, legacy of the post World War II order agreement to which the nations have come to in defense of humanity. Uh, but this is how it is. You don't get you don't get something without losing something in this world, sacrificing something. Except that it wasn't for sacrifice, it was actually for what we see today is even taking place against Ukraine. Um, is like anything else I want to say. Maybe I'm going to show you like interesting picture. I mentioned to you earlier that Angela Merkel had fallen for me. Uh, Angela Merkel did fall for me. This is the picture I'm going to show you. This is the husband. Uh, the first husband, Ulrich Merkel, 1975. Uh, Angela Merkel was uh, a very, very reserved with me. Um, she was uh, very, very reserved with me. Um, I was present when they took this picture, the two together. She was very, very reserved with me. Uh, she always, always liked me. Uh, I should say, tease me, because how the hell, what are you going to do with the, somebody who is freaking, the ladies were observing me, uh, this German sexy ladies were observing me, and it was like, uh, yeah, I could see in their eyes, like, what the fuck, at age one and a half, I became like, freaking addicted to see them, to be around them, completely insane, crazy about them. Uh, if I could, I know, I know, I would, literally, I know, this is crazy, I would jump in their pants, seriously. I think the stuff they did to me, the torture, the beatings, the abuse that went on, 
I think it had my hormones going insane. That I was, like I said, absolutely no other baby have gone through the shit like this. And the hormones, uh, I think they handled me. I think that that I was that. Uh, I'm sure they haven't seen anything like this. Uh, the way they talk to me in Moscow, the way they talk to me in Belgrade, the Yosip Brostito and stuff like this, the way they talk to me, it was like, I saw, I, I was like, fuck you, basically. I, if I wish I had a place uh, I could go and complain to, and I would say, I saw you, you are trying to trick me, like, and I did complain like this to the people. I complained like this to them. They would fucking listen to me. They would just kick me in. Like, what do you think you are, basically? This shit, this, what do you think you are? This was like part of my life. I mean, since early childhood. For complaining, basically, with, that you treat me as a baby, you treat me like a, like an adult man. And I am not adult man and this and that. The thing is, I didn't even have to say what I did. I'm not even sure I'm going to say what I learned from another baby who said that or another baby learned from me. And then we sing all together the same shit, but it didn't help. It helped some baby, but it fucking didn't help me. Boy. It did not help me no matter what the hell I would do. Nobody wanted to fucking believe me anything. Nobody wanted to believe me anything. And that's how that disbelief right there. Uh, the boyfriend, he looked like a classic with this, the way, they, the, the way he dressed and stuff. Uh, this was in no competition with, with the Western German females or with the other females that were involved in MK Ultra. Uh, and it was like about like if I like him the way he looks like and I was like basically like I think I I was even at in 1975 folks I was four years old and I was like maybe even like giving her maybe a little maybe a little look like you know yeah okay girl uh, but I really was crazy about what I demonstrated to you earlier. They're like really, really babes. Boy, they had a hot ladies. This lady that I demonstrated to you earlier, uh, that found herself on the picture. Uh, <sighs> oh, Microsoft. I saw her resume right now. And Angela Merkel told me that I have to tell absolutely everything. So this is probably the lady that was the longest involved, employed. Uh, then I have to tell absolutely everything about her home, where she was, how she moved to uh, absolutely everything from absolutely everything that I have to tell absolutely everything. Look. Graduated in 72 with diploma in medicine. Uh, medicine, graduated in 72. Lung specialist, earned medical. No, 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 no. Uh, we got to go back here. This was here. This was here. Yeah, whatever. Um. How she worked, obviously, that this was 
some kind of university, uh, and then how she got the job. She began to study medicine in 66, graduated in 72 with diploma. Uh, and then from 79, she worked as a lung specialist and, and medical doctorate. Uh, from 1980 to 85, she was a medical director of the Polyclinic Department for Lung Diseases, Tuberculosis, Berlin, Friedrich Schrein. Uh, but here is missing the stuff between 1972 uh, to 1979. Sometimes they told me they're an MK Ultra, uh, just so that you can tell whatever. So I. I have to think about this stuff yet, all right? I have to go over, uh, walk a little bit, meld the information, read this over, uh, and see other information, photos foremost, photos I have to see, and then it's gonna drop me uh, where, where our whereabouts were and so on and so forth. Um, yeah, that there should be, I should know about how she made the moves from her hometown and all that stuff, all that kind of stuff. That's what I should know. This is what I was insane about. This is the woman. This is definitely the one that drove me insane. Oh, yeah. Cole. Cole was the one who was involved in it. Uh, you know, when I think about the call, they were always making like an issue. This offers to me that they would become my fathers and stuff. This was not honest. These people are not honest. I am going to tell you immediately because, yeah, do you know how I know? Because what I stated to you not only was already too many fathers involved in it, you know, but when I think about the call, uh, I'm going to tell you that these people molested me. As a matter of fact, they had Russians molest me. So that, like they say, I would literally turn into pussy. They were breaking me down, basically. They were breaking me down. Because right now when I thought about the call, When I think about the call, uh, call was, uh, it was always very expressive and so on. And I realized that it's like a ball that you hand to another player. And they all throw that ball from one to another. It's bullshit. The whole thing was bullshit. These people have, not, none of these people ever had any kind of decent intentions. But at the beginning of this video, I gave you the credit and I said, this is going to be a last one ever. You're going to get as much as it means. It's the only thing I can give you. I can't fucking give you any kind of credit for absolutely anything. Because you treated me extremely without any decency. You, you, you treated me extremely, extremely decent. The way you did with me is beyond disgusting. I don't, I can't say sorry, but I really, those are the issues that made me do stupid stuff, decisions I never should. That's how you got me in trouble. And I think you did this, all this stuff, you calculated very well how to. So, but, anyways, Angela Merkel you know, got divorced a few years later. Uh, this was in 75, and I read, it, it says it was in 82 or 81 or whatever it was, or 84, I don't care, that she got divorced. Uh, she got really, really hooked on me. The thing is, I didn't want to have absolutely anything to do with her. Uh, I turned her down on quite a few occasions, and, and our age is significant. Our age is big. Uh, I don't understand what happened to her. Uh, I don't get it. I, But I'm pretty sure that uh, she was getting serious about something 
that uh, did not cross my mind. And eventually, with a few years more, it did. It did it, 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 in the early childhood, and it did. It did. It did because because she was good looking. All right. Except that the problem was this year. When when I was seeing this lady, it, it was different. It's a trouble. It's it's really a trouble. It was a chaotic environment. It was quite crazy. And well, that's all I can say to you. You know. For this photo here, what I can say to you, this photo is a really significant photo when I see it. Uh, <laughs> I think the boyfriend was jealous of me. Uh, he fucking hated me uh, because I went right after him and I was asking her what did she see on him and, and so on and so forth. And uh, he, he was a dog, he was a nice guy. Uh, but I think he had a second thoughts. Uh, he did not like me too much. And two years later, the two got apart. Uh, I was only four years old when I was given the hell like this to, to, <laughs> to this, to the males. I, I did not care. I got, I got on the nerves to many, many males. If I, if I like the female, uh, I would stress the shit that you possibly could not imagine exists in the faces of these people without any males, without any remorse whatsoever. Uh, unfortunately, nothing ever came out of this. Uh, they figure out what I'm doing. Uh, I was too little. And drugged up, and when I grew up, I was still drugged up, and there was still nothing I could do. The only thing it was, ah, they took advantage of it, used that as an excuse for the crime against me. That's all there was. That's how it worked. I don't even think about saying that we did not know each other since the in eastern germany since my age of six months don't even think about it because it was like this and angela merkel knew about this what 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 uh, what separates angela merkel from the rest of it uh how can i say about that stuff you know what i'm going to tell you what this is about british were the one the british royals did all this shit. Uh, Ang what separates angela merkel from all the rest of the politicians is a corruption uh which a british government uh, yeah royals demanded from the German government to comply with. Let me explain. Uh, I am going to take time to explain this issue as well, how it works, this British scumbaggery, so that you understand how it all works. Uh, I'll give you uh, an input on a British scumbaggery, how it operates. Um, yeah, now let's say that this is a good individual here. Good, my ass. But let's say this is a good individual. So they created a certain groups around the world. Let's say Tijuana, or let's say Laredo, or let's say Mexico City, or for that matter, it could be Tokyo. And it would be something other in some other city in Japan. Or it could be in Shanghai, or it could be in New York, or Detroit, or Los Angeles, or whatever it would be. There would be a group of uh, people that would take corruption, 
therefore British author and I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna do it like this hey if you got involved with this guy we can get you a job career we can get you a loan we can get you cheaper real estate uh, we can get you what do you need to get we can we can get you a song you're gonna be popular you're gonna have a nice song uh we can we can get you a plane ticket uh, a free stay at whatever uh, a cruise to whatever um uh, you understand and i'm gonna go here i'm gonna put this here and we're gonna name this stuff here as b so i'm gonna tell you exactly what angela merkel is Gonna explain to you how this come back and it works. And so the British went ahead and they collected these groups from around the world, which they had to perform in exchange for those tickets a torture on an alien. Yeah, I was not a human being, I was just an alien. They're gonna name this guy here A. Alien, that's me. Uh, and this alien got beat up, abused, uh, all kinds of shit. Basically, he was taking help from all these bad guys here. All oh, they were giving a fucking help. Wow, 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 wow. He was taking beating shit, and uh, basically. In return for this stuff, as I stated, um, the gifts were raining down. Real estate, jobs, careers, uh, anything you want, plane tickets, business opportunity, you know, collection of the money, basically, right? This here. everywhere okay boom 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 ding 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 ding, 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 ding. he's again the town he's again in town folks raise your chance bing 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 break his ass bam 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 they collected the money doom 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 this one here collected money big time too career everything normal very good uh in angela merkel's case she did a lot of bad stuff uh she didn't have to she did fucked up stuff i mean that i was beaten up by the u.s government even uh at the request of british for no longer wanting to have anything to do with the germans and with the british that was stuff is fucked up eh? once i immigrated to the u.s that stuff was really bad in 1995 that was crazy uh but still you know what happened? Different principles applied. Some principles state wanted individually. Uh, let's say in India, let's say they want, they wanted, let's say, or in Italy, or let's say in France, or Britain, or Canada, or whatever. Uh, it all depended. Uh, some were interested in something, others were interested in something else. Uh, but all this stuff, yeah, in Slovenia, for instance, they wanted uh, these bad guys. Uh, they they wanted, how can I say it? So for me to interpret this, uh, a total abuse uh, as a form of assistance. So it's basically to drive you. Uh, it's like this gaslighting, yeah, but this is to drive you completely insane. Basically, it demanded from me a total compliance, yeah, with bullshit. Uh, and they translated this to me. If you're not going to be compliant with this, it will be nothing. It will be nothing. So you have literally people shitting in your face 
making fun of you inside of the stores uh, where you are beaten up, tortured heavily uh, by store employees, uh, laughed at how you're not going to have the money to buy yourself a fish can, uh, a beans, uh, and then you can go in the store really under this kind of circumstances that you're basically prohibited from stopping by the local uh, employment office or at a social uh, or social assistance office or whatever. Uh, and this shit is happening uh, through the people that are doing this kind of stuff. Uh, gesturing you basically to identify them through this kind of abuse, through this kind of crazy madness shit. Which, however, is not only reserved to Slovenia, but also other parts of the world. Uh, oftentimes, even anticipating in Slovenia, let's say, how they're going to drag you into a physical confrontation, uh, questioning them issues, so they could request for the police and stuff like this. It was time like this. They hoped for they would melt me down. They hoped they would develop many, many, many conflicts based on which they would create a chain of uh, facts and trigger against me and police and psychiatry and stuff like that. Uh, and in all this shit, you're going to have the people that did the biggest damage, uh, such as Borat Pahar, Milan Kuchan, who Tanya Fayon, let's say, who present themselves like a saint uh, and expect that you will comply with their death threats, with everything in this kind of environment or else. Uh, and acceptance, compliance with this kind of stuff could guarantee you uh, a favor from the state. This basically compliance with the enemy the one who created all this stuff. Then you have, let's say, another country, let's say, with another issues, uh, which basically apply to the same principles, uh, but not entirely the same principles. I should say expectations from you. They have expectations from you, uh, mostly on if you're not going to be nice to us, uh, you are not going to get uh, any kind of, uh, you know, we'll just not know you, basically. Yeah, that was like a frequent thing through the United States, through, through all the countries, Italy and Germany and uh, Europe. And then you have the same shit like with Slovenia again in, uh, in Russia. And, in, uh, you know, so they, they, they basically, when they demanded your complete political submission to them. Uh, uh, also in Poland, uh, also in other parts of Eastern Europe. Uh, yeah, well, politically, they wanted this everywhere, but I really didn't feel about, you know what I didn't like about Poland the most? Uh, the plane crash where the Kaczynski's brother supposedly died. That's the kind of stuff that I'm really, really scared about because of so many fake certificates, because of the word that goes on in, 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 in Ukraine today, it's actually hard to determine truly what happened with that plane. Because of everything that's happening, it's, it's very, very difficult to know really what's going on with this kind of issue. But let's set that stuff aside. Uh, every one of the, let's say somebody in Warsaw that would be doing, the group of people that would be doing like this stuff, MK Ultra, uh, they in return had to grant you whatever it was, their personal information based on which you would identify them. So in this circle of these bad guys, there's always somebody who was less bad or it was, let's say, a sexy girl that you always put up with because of her sexy appearance or whatever, right? So uh, the government was the one that determined 
who is going to play the good guy behind whom all the bad guys are going to be hiding. And these bad guys are not necessarily all bad. Uh, in this circle people around this good guy, I'm sure you heard about bad uh, and uh, I say evil and good. Yeah, and sometimes it just happens so that without that good, evil would not even exist. And I apply that kind of principles as many times as I possibly could, but with no effect, if you understand me. When I was trying to liberate myself as fast as possible, I was taking into account all kinds of probabilities, possibilities, for I was took completely the wrong turn, uh, really have fallen in the trap these people were preparing for me since my early childhood. I did not understand just in how deep shit I was, uh, because it didn't make sense to understand any of that stuff. I didn't even want to talk about MK Ultra. If you realized, I ignored MK Ultra on my complaints uh, till uh, 2010, till 2011. When I begged and back for so many years, the United Nations, and they wouldn't. And then I went mad. Then I turned against everybody in the United Nations. Uh, I, uh, I was really, really angry about the stuff that went on because, you know. So if you go back to this stuff here, so that would be a good person that would be usually the first one that would the system would present one, in, inject one in your world, whom you would identify, and then it would be all kinds of other people behind that. That so this person obviously whoever it was, it was the most helpful, and the German government for the government officials have selected Angela Merkel. Was Angela Merkel a beneficial to me in respect to Germany? Was she resourceful enough? This is the only question that uh, applies to the contract that British royals have made with the rest of the world, with other countries, including with Great Britain, uh, concerning my case. If she complied, therefore, with all the, and it applied the same to the Russians, and it applied to the same to everyone, as long as they comply with it, yeah, you have nothing to worry about, you're okay, you fulfill your treaty, and it's all fine by us. But the problem, well, the issue is only one, that I am not willing to take this shit anymore. Because, well, if you are such a brilliant brain like I have, uh, you don't have to put up with Joe Biden. You don't have to put up with Angela Merkel. Uh, and foremost, you don't have to put up with the one who started all this crime against you. That's when they claim to help you out. That's basically with the British royals. So this is like a business, you know. On one side, you're going to have a body like my Let's see. You see that B, uh, actually A, here, yeah? On one side, you're going to have a Bobby that's basically myself here. And on the other side, you're going to have a, a, a British a Royale, let's say. You're going to have, you're going to have this uh, British Royals, you know. Now we're gonna put this B or to A B. No, I can't put B because I already did. Obviously, it's gonna be R to represent royals, uh, British, British royals, British royals. On the other side, you're gonna have this British royals. And now we are throwing uh, potatoes at each other. If you know, if that's basically what they thought. This is gonna look like, yeah. Uh, they thought that we we're going to be exchanging the fire. As a matter of fact, William, Harry, and, and they all anticipated how we are going to be trading the fire with one another. 
But you know what? I am not interested in creating fire because I know how dangerous it is to create the fire. I don't want to create the fire. What I want to do is basically on the road to the victory. And I don't know where I would place the victory here, but it would be a big V. Big. And one is a green color. So I'm, you know what? I'm going to put one right here in the middle. So on this road towards the victory, that looks like a casket almost in between, but okay. This is going to, this green V is going to significate a victory. The way to the victory are different ways. There are different ways. Well, because, just because, these people here, I have decided, were simply not nice to me, uh, and have robbed me of my life, and have used these guys here, all this stuff here, what I damaged, even what I stated to you as good, basically to rob me of life, of money, career, job, health, and everything else, time, which is the most precious in a, of anything, everything in life, I have decided that I will deal with these guys here up to the certain degree that's basically to collect uh, the proofs, the evidence that I need to prove that I'm not mentally ill person, that this is actually real, therefore a physical evidence that proves my credibility on my way towards a total V. V stands for a victory. Uh, but would not continue all the way uh, ripping myself apart, neglecting much necessary medical attention, uh, much necessary financial improvement of my life uh, so that I can move on basically with my life uh, in for what they did to me, stuff they did to me, uh, I have instead decided will evaluate uh, every good in exactly the same form, exactly the same fashion as to uh, whatever applies to everyone else involved in MKR. For all these little cells that you see here, in exactly, exactly the same way I decided I will evaluate rather than going through just this here that says good, nice, be nice. Uh -uh. Uh, just every cell here, individual. Uh, so I have broken this the British corruption architecture into pieces and decided we'll evaluate every one of these whether you're good, you were bad, and how do exactly where in the picture do you fit in based on your own performance if this is how you want. Even that I deem that this is truly has to do with something completely other issues. It truly has more to do with the humanitarian. Not even, well, because the British are so rotten, literally with the humanitarian work. And when I say this humanitarian work, you know what? You know that these people here are criminals. These are not royals. This is this these people are gangsters, they're criminals. They are up to no fucking good. We're talking about humanitarian, and humanitarian is something I heard many, many times during MK Ultra. For the humanitarian reasons. It really is. People came up for humanitarian reasons. Also, there was a lot of talk about a lot of money in it. First, obviously, is to get this job done uh, and 
do not award bad people for it because these bad people make very bad impression on all these cells that you see right there because there are some good apples not all our apples are rotten in there and if you're going to go and you're going to benefit the rotten apples awarding them basically with being nice for a scumbaggery uh, the good apples are going to turn away from you the good apples are never going to turn away from you if you're going to do what you should you're expected to do as a human being but they will turn away from you if you will start to serve rotten apples as for rotten apples they're never going to fucking help you the rotten apples are just going to rotten you completely you see i i did invest at some time to uh, analyze this situation to understand one properly so that's why i invested enormously into such investigation as this one in this movie to prove the events from totally different corners for totally different views rather than interrogating engaging in endless uh hi how are you do i know you from somewhere and this and that so because this stuff cuts me on a necessary bullshit that otherwise i would have some joe biden laughing in my face saying oh yeah he was there and this and that uh and you would have an audience in the background that would be laughing like stupid with some stuff like this and then he would go on and he would with authority he would say yeah but you know what he was also here at that time and you know what he also did this and he also did that well you know you understand the concept dignity pride and honor these are extremely important elements i never absolutely ever gave in it's something what i maintained it's my standard basically this is how i do it um angela merkel had extremely high expectations so did ursa von der leyen from me also involved since my childhood on how i should see how i should pursue uh how i i this and that by the way, when I say Ursula von der Leyen, uh, I mentioned Helle Berklund from Norway. And how her brother was, uh, and she were in the school at the Snow Nashola Gurm. I am pleased to say I was not wrong. I was not crazy. It's a fact. It just did not start that early uh, because of my appetite for this German woman. Uh, these politicians started to go crazy together with this British royals. Uh, it was like this one time they said to the fuck with everything. Uh, let's demonstrate him this Western woman if he's so interested in them and so on. Uh, and they introduced her in MK Ultra, sure enough, if not earlier, I know for sure they did. I must have been at my age. She was also one of the first involved in MK Ultra, and it must have been then in uh, uh, when I was like, well, when the things went really bad. I'm not hundred uh, percent certain that it was earlier but i know for sure it was at my age six and the first grade of the grammar school is where Helen birkland with her brother martin birkland popped it from the picture this is basically just the way it is uh, but not in slovenia uh, i was taken to scandinavia and such uh, but when i was like in a third grade uh, they would come to visit me also to Slovenia, literally at the Snow Nashola Gurm. It was like this. So don't think that I don't analyze and know exactly to which, uh, uh, to which, where, where exactly, according to my memory, 
real memory do you fit in? Yeah? So I'm just giving you a, a real taste about how these things are. I don't want the favors from, from the people like this that build their political careers, uh, walk over there on the stage like they're gods with the big smiles, like they accomplished something when in fact these are robbers. They're thieves. They're thieves of life. I've seen all kinds of people in my life. Uh, there was all kinds of people that I have seen in my life that I can identify with. Uh, I will never forget what I was taking to, uh, well, I think it's, uh, what is it? It's of Pakistan, it's Bangladesh, on the streets of uh, this main city where really these poor people go inside of the canalization to get whatever is left from the jewelers that goes through the uh, toilets, through the sink, goes down underneath right under the shops and, and they dive into canalization risking their lives with this filthy waste to get just leftovers from the gold that uh, the jewelers do and I will never forget that it was Slovenians who told me a Slovenian police officer who told me that I am no fucking good that what I'm doing is I'm diving into the shit to literally get uh, doing basically what those guys are doing from this canalization uh, to satisfy the appetite uh, of uh, the princesses. Basically, I'm diving in the shit to collect the money for the princesses and stuff like that, which was, uh, it, it doesn't have really nothing to do with the knights, but it was extremely, uh, of course, for anybody that would be insulted. And I'm going to put here next to it, it's going to be Thailand as a royal, you know, Thailand. Uh, however, it was the British royals who asked me, uh, they came and they said, oh, hell, this is insulting, this is, I don't know what the fuck it is. Uh, so I hope that you will remember that it was not us who did this shit, who, did, who said to you such a stuff and so on. Well, I, I, can, I can say to you, it was not you. Uh, I can also say to you, it was absolutely you who paid Slovenian police for saying this stuff like this to me based on a simple logic that you can possibly not refute. Giving them information, everything, all the whereabouts and so on. Uh, it was always about where we went first, and then it was always with wherever I was delivered again afterwards by the Slovenian police. And it never mind that where we went first, that's what British brainwashed with, where we went first, it was always the fucking Slovenian police that was present. Just like in the case in the early childhood, as I demonstrated, you told you about. Okay? Thanks for watching this video. I can identify with these people digging uh, to provide for their families, for their life. Whatever is, whoever in this world that is having a hard time, whatever the hell you do. I can identify with you. I can absolutely see myself, but I cannot see myself in a scumbaggery like this. Uh, that, like in my case, uh, the Rilenki Ultra, I was literally able, labeled as a neo Nazi, and my life was not worth the life. And in front of the international community, these people presented themselves like both sides did. In British, in German, in Russian, they presented themselves like Nazism is an ultimate evil, and they presented me to the to the to the global audience like during that like like ultimate evil, like a supporter of the Nazism, 
Like, I wasn't fucking Hitler, like a Nazi. Forget about Hitler, Nazi, but Hitler, if you understand me what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not going to say omitting the stuff they did to me, but clearly displaying that my life was not even worth life of a single to them, I wasn't even worth what a single new Nazi that they used me for to save from Eastern Europe, Eastern Germany, Eastern Europe uh, was, basically. I was not even, I was worth shit to them. Simple as this. Not even that much I was worth. And I was going to say one more really important thing. Hope I don't let that one out. Um, it's a big deal. It's a big deal to me that I wasn't like a single Nazi, uh, and it was Israel who claimed me when they investigated as Nazis that they came across some that were everything but innocent, that were everything but innocent, meaning that some of this committed truly, truly uh, horrendous crimes. It was Benjamin Netanyahu who protested me uh, when I suggested one that it was not a big deal during MK Ultra. There was, they suggested him that it was not a big deal and so on. He questioned me about that stuff. I didn't know who the hell these people were where they, they, they committed uh, whatever the hell they committed, whatever. For me, it was all the same thing. For me, it was just a person. How can I tell you? This is the same shit like I see the father today when I go to visit him at the home for elderly people. I mean, he, he, he made the problem to himself, if you understand me what I'm saying. This is, this is basically, these are, these are prisoners of the past that have to put up with their past, with their own demons, with their own problems, hiding, whatever the case might be. And it is the case. Um, they're old. They're going to make a difference in this world, whatever it might be. Uh, it's the legacy they carry that is important for the world to acknowledge and prevent and stop from repeating again, basically. This is basically the way I see it, but what the hell are you gonna do with these old people? Uh, what are you gonna do with these old people? I mean, unless you get somebody who committed horrendous crime uh, that affected people, that caused evil to the people, on the Balkans, on the Balkans, they let out war criminals. You have people like Vojslav Sheshel Serb that did not get his sentence, that they released him, and so on and so forth. Nobody actually of these war criminals that committed such a terrible war crimes really got the sentence they deserved. Not a single fucking one of them. And I will tell you that not that I am suspicious, but I firmly believe that the war criminals, the Serbian war criminals that supposedly died and so on, uh, I doubt. I doubt. I doubt about such cases as 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 Mladic, as as Karadzic and so on that is imprisoned and he was transferred to, to Britain to serve his sentence and so on and that kind of stuff with relatives in the Canada and so on and so forth. You know, I, I doubt it when I even considered that after just a few years they would release something that if it would be in the World War II with a much lesser impact on a World War II, uh, they, they would definitely try one or Nuremberg trials, uh, or uh, let's say Israel would definitely issue and would hunt him down till they would get him. And at the Hague, 
at the European Court uh, because they, 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 they were pro-Soviet, pro-Russian Serbs, uh, they just walk away like without a single scratch. It's very, very relative to this world. That's why I call the world upon the justice also for what is happening today in Ukraine to be equal with World War II. What Russians are doing in Ukraine simply are atrocities. It's the same thing that the Serbs did on the Balkans during the Balkan Wars. And it's indifferent from what Nazis did during the World War II. Thanks for watching this video. Till the next time. The best is when you do the stuff like I do, to point out so then you don't have somebody laughing at you anymore across the media, uh, playing you with the justice system, ridicule you, uh, with what comes next or at the end, basically grant himself the ability to even say yeah, it was like this, except that you didn't tell this, and you didn't tell that, and you didn't tell this, and you didn't tell that. Joe Biden, I should say the United States of America government, who hijacked mercilessly from Miami beginning 1995, nor Angela Merkel, nor anybody else for that matter will ever have that honor in my case because i outline the most important issues there are numerous i have not but that really gives me a human face dignity pride and honor thanks for watching this video till next time